What's up guys, of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours real of course, the Scarender. And well, today we have an RE match against the one and only Eskilo. He has a YouTube channel on his own, so make sure to check that one out. And this time I really wanted to try a new RE team that has been working somewhat well. It is with Camerot in Bond. Really want to see if Camerot can hold his own in RU. And this time, of course, a few pokes into that. My opponent here brings the Freds of RU, and I mean the Freds. Uh, so also with Togetic, um, Typhlosion, Jellison, Mega Steelix, Virision, and Flygon. Now, Flygon is, isn't is that intimidating to this team, but Typhlosion is. Like, the only thing that really can take Typhlosion's uh, Freds here is Mantine. And uh, Manta and Jolteon is working together uh, really well, but um, yeah, I if I lose Mantine, I gonna have a rough time against that high lotion. And I think my opponent just knows that, and uh, yeah, not feeling that well. But anyway, I do pretend or I think that my opponent got a lead off with Flygon, so I'm gonna bring my Avalog against that. And actually, my Avalog can deal with a lot of his Pokemon. Uh, Flygon can't really hurt it. Steelix can't really hurt it. And of course, Verissiot, if it's a physical type, cannot hurt it. Uh, Avlog is a really, really good Pokemon in RU, so I do recommend you guys to actually check that one out yourself. Because, well, it re works really well in tier now that Kubalan is gone, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, with all this, my guys, let's go. So, right, and also, this first part of the battle is sped up because the first part of this game was actually really, really slow. So, I'm gonna start with Avlog, like I said there. I'm gonna take that rocks. Well, we call a U-turn really well, and he's gonna bring his Jellicent. Now, Jellicent, not that threatening, and uh, not that threatening, but it is super, super bulky, and my only real response to this Pokemon is actually my own Mantine, which, on its own, is really, really wally, so they can't really hurt each other, and it looks really, really bad. He's gonna miss two Will-O-Wisp in a row while I score the Toxic, and after this, I will actually bring, or go for the Air Slash, but of course, we'll flinch him. So, Solgo, 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 the champ is here, and uh, the Toxic is gonna be eventually picking up on him. He will insist on going for the Willow Wisp and eventually will land it. So, uh, you know, that's good for him, really. Uh, <laughs> I have nothing more from that. And uh, just in general, uh, Yolicent is super, super potent in RU. It really is. It's very tough to deal with on its own. So he's gonna bring it for Garden. I do eventually miss an Air Slash, but you know, that's only fair. Consider that until this point, uh, the hacks hasn't really been in his favor. Now, I will stay in and actually predicting his uh, U-turn, but the worst part is that even though I go for a Toxic, I obviously is not gonna land that since it was only Toxic. I was really hoping it's gonna bring something else, but you know, you win some, you lose some, as one say. And um, now my HP is <laughs> forcing me out. It's gonna go for recover, and that's fine. Um, while I do think that's really bad that he gets recover chance, at the same time, I do get my Trevenant in here without a doubt, and Horn Leech is super threatening. And uh, he actually felt that. I went for Shadow Claw instead of Horn Leech, hoping that some neutral damage would be done. And uh, now we'll go for Rock Slide, but sadly, I do miss that. And the second landing here, of course, uh, against the Verisian is far, far superior. Now, he will show me the Calm Mind, and that's fine. I do go for it for Drain Punch, hope to get some good damage. And, you know, that is in the area of a 50% hit. Uh, he also hit a power here. I think I decided to keep going for Drain Punches, but it is not enough. It's right with a Slither of Health, and I don't want to risk the damage here. Uh, he's actually going to predict that I'm going to predict or switch out. And I'm going to bring Mantine here, which, like I said, I was really hoping I could take a hit from this better. But I am not able to. I really am not. He goes for Giga right here. I survive with 4 HP and Air Slash will finish it off. But due to the burn here, my... Well, my Mantine is down to count. So, until this point, I was doing well. But now the Mantine is gone, you know exactly what's gonna come in. And I did not. I did not. It's gonna bring the Power of Hotness. And I'm gonna bring the Tundra Nature. And that is not the best situation as I do. Decide here to sacrifice my Kogo Hassan, which is of course the Hitmon top. Now we finally are back on the right speed. Now, I gotta say this Hitmon top might have been my best bet against this thing since I do have access to uh, the Mag Punch and actually can stop its eruption. Well, I did not make that call, and that's even worse because I have nothing for it. I really have not. 
that blow shot speeds everything on the team now besides of Jolteon and Jolteon is the only thing that can whittle it down and I gotta decide that to go to my camera and um, go for a flash cannon I was really hopeful for Togetic but flying will do but the worst part is that I can't really stay in I can't take an EQ and I brought the wrong set of camera because I was supposed to have stealth rocks in that set I do not have that and he's going for an EQ of course we're gonna soak that because we're still in a vlog after all and I was really predicting him here to go for a U-turn but of course his like choice in some way most likely scarfed so that's why I switched this out while I go for recover just in vain consider that the, only, the things that do hurt me hurt me real good so that was actually a bad call on my side and the gel isn't just it just floating like floating death in general uh, I have nothing really good against this Yellison now that my Mantine is gone. Like I said there, I have really nothing here. And I decided to go to Listard, which of course is Jolteon. Well, he goes for a will o on his own. And uh, now starts the over-predictions. And what I mean by that is that I couldn't really go for a Thunderbolt since he has a Jolteon on his own. And I knew that, so I decided to go for a Shadow Ball instead, hoping to catch that on the switch in. Well... That is not what happened. That is seriously not what happened. Because he will just stay in while I go for Shadow Ball. And Shadow Ball being this weaker move, it's not gonna kill him. It is generally not going to kill him. And he goes for Hex, which puts me in one of the worst positions ever. And due to the burn, I can't survive the life orb damage. So while I do decide here, I think I go for a Thunderbolt. I will lose to Jolteon too, which means that Typhlosion yet again can come in on even more things and just finish off this game. I'm really feeling the threat of Typhlosion as of right now. So he will decide to switch out. Actually, I did keep going for Shadow Ball. He's gonna bring the Anaconda, which of course is the Steelix. And the Shadow Ball will do just about nothing. And that is how I lose the start. So luckily I didn't go for Thunderbolt, I guess. <laughs> But as of right now, I was really like, shit, 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 I can't, I can't stop this, <laughs> I can't. Uh, so I gotta go to my Salt Vest Trevenant, and really now, i just gonna go for Drain Punch, because that is actually my strongest in theory move. And we got some lag here, which is just beautiful. Uh, anyway, Drain Punch will do a good chunk of damage, being that it's a defensive and all. But that is nothing, nothing I tell you compared to the slam of the heavy, heavy, heavy Pokemon that is Steelix. Because... He's gonna set up his own rocks here, and after this, I'll try to go for Horn Leech instead of um, another Drain Punch. Predicting him to switch into Jellicent, that is not what happened, people. And even worse is, like I said, he's gonna get the slam! And he's so heavy! And my Godric is not ready for that kind of damage. It hurts so much! And while I do get the Anaconda out of the way, you guys know as well as me here that that is. That, that, that is bad. That is really, really, really bad. I I have now seriously nothing for this Pyro. Pyro hotness. And he's just gonna go for Flamethrower, luckily, instead of Flamethrower. That's definitely better, consider that I have nothing, like I said, to really switch into this. I have the Camerot, but really now, who am I kidding? Camerot can't really do anything against the Type Lotion. Sure, I have the Earth power to take him out, and uh, I think Camerot could have dealt with his Jolteon in the end. But as you guys already figured it out since the way I'm telling the story, I am not doing so well. I go for a Flash Cannon, like I said, I was predicting a Togetic here, and it's not gonna kill him. It's not gonna kill him. Togetic, get out! What is wrong with you? It takes so much prior damage. It just, it can live everything, and of course, without the Stealth Rocks, there is nothing happening here. And um, he has the flying on left, I believe, the power hotness, uh, and Yellison being very weakened, and of course his own Jolteon. Now, I couldn't stay in here, I decided to switch out to Avalog. He, of course, took the opportunity to U turn. Like I said, I should probably just go for an Earth power here, and I think we'd have a very, very different game. Now, that is not what happened, and the U turn, of course, will not be able to kill. Uh, the flag on itself with the rocky helmet and we're gonna invite the pyro, the monster, the beast that is Typhlosion and basically this is GG no no, no one of my pokes can take this damage Avo is gonna fall no doubt and even with camera being in the position it's in it's a very healthy Pokemon as of right now it has taken too much prior damage to the rocks and being there is a 50% area and he's gonna hit me with a full 
powered eruption. There is just no way we're gonna get that. And he's actually gonna score a crit there, but like I said, it's not gonna matter. It still does so much damage. So yeah, guys, we go down really, really badly here. And Escl So, well, guys, I mean, I have to be honest here and say, Escl got me really good this battle. And the thing was, I didn't really see the flaw of my team until, of course, when I actually realized that man time went down and what that meant for the, <laughs> the rest of the team. Um, I'm gonna say this, man is a very, very good Pokemon in RU. Just well, uh, you know, walls the things it should and uh, yeah, generally, uh, really, really glad I'm using that. But... Uh, Typhlosion, what a monster. <laughs> really now, if you leave Typhlosion unchecked, you're gonna lose. And I definitely did not prepare with Type Lotion whatsoever with this team. And um, yeah, I thought that was really well shown there. Uh, there was really nothing I could do against that Type Lotion in general. I had, like I said, priority with the Hitman Tap. I did not really use that to my advantage. Nor did I predict it all wrong with the Jolt Yawn. And just my opponent got all kinds of momentum. And in the end, he was the fair winner with the trio. And it should even been probably a bigger score than that. But it was a general fun game. It was really fun C type lotion actually doing well in RU. I think that I might have underappreciated that Pokemon far too long. Even though I'm I prefer the power herb, solar beam type lotion. I'm not gonna deny the power I went against here. And just in general, let's go. Thank you so much for that battle. It was really fun. And uh, if everybody else wanna thank you for watching, of course, make sure to leave a like if you like this battle. And remember, the sky is the limit. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.